America's health care bill is two and a half trillion dollars a year. That's $8,200 for every American. So you might have done a double take when you saw who was talking today at the White House about bringing down health care costs. Some of the same people who helped defeat health care reform 15 years ago. Jake Tapper is at the White House. Jake. Good evening, Charlie. Well, President Obama called today's event historic, a watershed event in the long and elusive quest for health care reform. The president believes this move today is an indication of all the momentum there is that health care reform will happen this year. Members of the health care industry who fought reform in the past united at the White House today to pledge to reduce health care costs, saving $2 trillion over the next decade. They're here because they recognize one clear, indisputable fact. When it comes to health care spending, we are on an unsustainable course that threatens the financial stability of families, businesses, and government itself. Organizations representing doctors, hospitals, health insurers, drug companies, medical technology companies, and unions told President Obama they would work to cut costs 1.5 percent every year for the next 10 years. The White House budget director says these reforms cannot wait. We are running off a cliff if we don't have these sorts of changes, and this puts the system on a sustainable basis. The White House says in five years, this would save a family of four $2,500 a year. The savings will be achieved, the group said, through administrative efficiency, such as fewer bills, fewer forms, using cutting-edge technology for less costly medical procedures, and giving incentives to health care providers based on results, not the number of tests or hospital stays. Some of these same industries fought health reform in the 1990s, most notably with Harry and Louise TV ads. You know, we just don't need government monopolies. To get so why would they be on board today? It's a recognition that the fictional television couple Harry and Louise desperately need health care reform in 2009, and so does America. Well, maybe. But these groups also fear Congress passing a bill they hate. The insurance industry, for instance, does not want the government to offer a competing plan. Everyone wants a seat at the table because no one wants to be on the menu. One other note from the meeting, Charlie, the representative from the doctors told the president that the reason he believes there are so many unnecessary tests and procedures is because doctors practice defensive medicine for fear of malpractice suits. And he said he hoped the president would support malpractice reform. The president said he would keep an open mind, but keep in mind, this has been a very hard sell for Democrats on Capitol Hill.